Hi, this is Abul Kalam. Today we are going to learn shortcuts in division. 500 by 11. What's your answer? Using conventional method, once we divide 500 by 11, we will get 45.45. How to do the same division in shortcuts? Just strike out the zero, two zeros. Now multiply this by 9. What is 5 9 sir? 45. Now you may think there is deviation between this answer and this answer. What is the deviation? 0.45. My answer is 45 and the real answer is 45.45. So what I will do is, the first two digits whatever I am getting, just I will write after that. So my answer is also 45.45. Now let me go for one more number. 300 by 11. How to do this in shortcut? Just write out these two zeros, multiply by 9. What is 3 9 sir? 27. Now after the decimal point, I will repeat the same digits after that. So now my answer is 27.27. Now let me go for one more number. What is 600 by 11? So I am going to multiply, strike out this value, then multiply by 9. What is 6 9 sir? 54. So my answer is 54 point, the same digits I am going to write after this. Now two things which will come in my mind or come in your mind is instead of dividing by 11, I am multiplying by 9. Is it okay? Yes, because what we are doing is in shortcuts, uh, instead of dividing by 11, you can multiply by 9. So we will go for one more case. Let us take the same example. And Divide this number by 9. What is 500 by 9? So, earlier what we did, once instead of dividing by 11, we multiply by 9. Now, instead of dividing by 9, we can multiply by 11. What is 511, sir? 55. Now, put a decimal point here and write these two digits after the decimal point. So, my answer is 55.55. Let me go for one more number. What is 400 by? How to do this? Strike out these two zeros. Now multiply it by 11. 4 11s are 44.4. Now let's go for one more example. 700 by 9. How to do this? Strike out these two zeros. Instead of dividing by 9, we can multiply by 11. 7 11s are 77.77. .77. So, these are the techniques which we can do this case. What is, what is the idea behind this? Okay, so total, once you see total is 20, 20 minus 11 is 9 and 20 minus 9 is 11. So, take the 20 as the target. Let us go for one more example, 800 divided by 25. How to do this? We know to do the conventional method, how to do this shortcut? This 25 is nothing but 5 square. So let me strike out this 0 and multiply by 2 square. So 8 into 2 square, that is 8 into 4 is 32. Shall we do one more example? 400 divided by 25. Instead of dividing by 25, which is nothing but 5 square, we can multiply this with 2 square. What is 4 into 2 square? That is 4 into 4, 16. Shall we? Do one more? Yes. What is 700 divided by 25? So this 25 is 5 square. So let us multiply this with 2 square. So 7 into 2 square, that is 7 into 4 is 28. Okay. So let us, I will give one question to you. I want to check how quick you are. What is 1100 divided by 25? Yes, your time starts now. Yes, you are absolutely right. Instead of dividing by 25, you can multiply by 2 square. That is nothing but 44. So, just a fraction of 2 to 5 seconds, you can give the answer. And we can do the similar question. Instead of dividing by 25, we can go for dividing by 120. 5000 divided by 125. Same technique. This 125 is 5 cube. Instead of dividing by 5 cube, we can multiply by 2 cube. What is 2 cube? 8. What is 5 into 8? 40. 
So my answer is right away 40. Let's go for one more number. What is 7000 divided by 125? What is 125? 125 is 5 cube. So just I am going to multiply with 2 cube. 7 into 8 is 56. One more number. 9000 divided by 125. So once I divide this, I have to multiply by 2 cube. 9 into 8, 72. This is the fastest method. So instead of dividing, we are just using the multiplying concepts. Now, let us go for one more difficult question. 500 divided by 30. Usually, this type of questions will take a lot of time because 500, 5000, 7000, once you divide by 30, students they spend a lot of time. Again, as I said earlier, 20 is your uh, uh, target or your uh, reference point or your landmark. Now, subtract the 20 minus 30. So, what you will get is 7. Now, instead of dividing by 30, you can multiply by 7. 5 7s are 35. But again, this question will you will have small deviation. Take 10% of this number. What is 10% of this number? It is 3.5. So my answer is 38.50. So in my opinion, this is not an accurate answer, this is an approximate answer which may deviate by 0.04 or 0.05 but you have got very close answer the real answer for 500 by 30 once you check with the calculator it will give you 38.46 my answer is 38.50 so deviation is 0.04 okay, let's go for one more number 600 divided by 13 20 minus 13 is 7 so let me multiply this by 7 6 into 7 42 and let me take 10 percent of this 10 percent of 42 is 4.2 so 42 plus 4.2 is 46.20. The real answer will be around 46.15 or 46.147. So my deviation is 0 0.05. But once you round this number 46.15, then you can round it off to 46.2, which is exactly right. We'll go for the final number 400 divided by 30. So 20 minus 13 is 7. Instead of dividing by 13, we can multiply by 7. 4 7s are 28. Now take 10% of this. 10% of 28 is 2.8. Add that number to this. So my total is 30.80. The real answer may be 30.76 or 30.75. The deviation may be 0 0.04 or 0 0.05. So within a fraction of a second, you have come very close to this answer. And please do remember to subscribe this channel. Thanks for watching this. Hi, this is Abdul Kalam. My channel name is Shortcuts in Aptitude, Abdul Kalam. Please do remember to subscribe and please press this bell icon to get the notification of all my videos. My cell number is 766-799-0251. Thanks for watching this video.